हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द माई चैनल एंड द प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज ऑफ क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट नाव अड इज इट इज वेरी यूजफुल इन एवरी फील्ड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई in cloud computing right we have a different practicals that are based on java language so let us start with the first practical or we can say it is not a first practical it is a part of the first practical so in cloud computing all the practicals are based on client server architecture that means we have a client machine that is responsible for sending the request and we have a server machine so this is our client and this machine is a server machine so now yeah in this case what happen in this case when we want the machine to communicate with the other machine client will communicate with the server machine so in computer networks we all know right, there is a concept of protocols we have a concept of protocols अब नाउ द कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू और मोर मशीन कैन बी आइदर कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड और कनेक्शन लेस ओके व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड इन केस ऑफ कनेक्शन ओरिएंटेड सर्विस the client must establish the connection with the server before starting with the communication before starting with the communication the client send the connection request to the server that means in connection oriented service the first phase is your connection establishment phase after the connection establishment phase the machine will start the communication in case of connection less there is a no requirement for establishing a connection between these two machine the machine are independent to send the data with the other machine there are many applications where we use connection oriented as for example suppose we want to do the transaction uh, with the bank when uh, bank to so, now the first step to do the transaction is that right we first establish the connection with the server after that only whatever the transaction that we want whatever the steps or the procedure that we want we will perform but before communicating with the server we must connect with the server so this is called as connection oriented service the example of the connection less service is email system right? suppose this machine right? this machine wants to send a email to this there is a no connection establishment between this two machine this machine directly send the email to the this uh, machine server server will receive the email when the server logs in so these are the two type of services that are used to allow the communication between a two or more machine now to to provide a connection oriented service right tcp protocol is used and to uh, connectionless service udp protocol is used so now in case of tcp the first phase is your connection establishment phase and then uske baad we have a communication but in case of udp no need to establish the connection directly start with the uh, communication transmission control protocol 
and UDP is your user datagram protocol. So now we start with the first TCP. Now, now what happen in case of TCP? Again, the same scenario is there. We have a server machine, and this side we have a client machine. Now, now this machine wants to uh, establish the connection with the server. The first and the most important thing that is required to start the communication with the other machine is the IP address. As we all know, Internet Protocol address. IP address is a unique address right, assigned to the machine. Worldwide, right, two or more machines do not have the same IP address. Every machine has the unique IP address. So now we will first uh, see how do we find the IP address of the machine using Java language. This is my first part of the cloud computing practical number one. First of all, we will see how to find the IP address of the machine. So let us start with the NetBeans. And then we will create a new project. Go to the file, new project, Java, Java application. Next, now this is my cloud computing practicals. This is my project name, and then finish. Now, as we can see here, the cloud computing practicals uh, project is created. Now, go to the source package, right click new java main class go to the other within java there is the option java main class next now this is my uh, the program to get the ip address get ip address. and the package name is an optional just leave it blank and then finish now these are the comments just remove the comments This is my basic Java code, public static void main. Okay. So now, first of all, we will see the packages that are required for the uh, for getting the IP address of the machine. The first package that we required import Java dot IO dot star, and the second is your import. The, mo the most important package is the java.net network. So these are the two packages right, that are used uh, for the cloud computing practical. Then try just use the intelligence using control spacebar and s out tab right here error plus e dot get message. Now this is my system dot out dot print and in in catch I am printing the error message. Now uh, we will find the IP address of the machine. There is a class inet address, internet address. As we can see here, an IP address is either 32 bit or 128. Whether it, uh, uh, the IP address is uh, IPv4 or IPv6. If it is a IPv4, that means 32 bit IP address is there, and 120 is a bit is used for IPv6. So this class represents the internet protocol IP address. So to deal with the IP address, we have a class inet address addr equals to inet address and get local host. So now this is my uh, line. This line is basically used uh, to find out the IP address of the current machine. Get localhost. Localhost refers to the current machine. Suppose you want to find out the IP address of the other machine. That means uh, we are uh, uh, this whatever the machine on the other side of the communication is there. We will uh, again create a object of inet address addr one equals to inet address get 
by name and we will write within double quotes the host name of the machine here we write the host name of the machine uh, whatever the name of that machine is there right we will find see we have a cmd just type here host name see this is my host name so whatever the host name of the remote machine is there okay, just type the host name here then it will return get by name will return the ip address the ip address of the other machine that is your remote machine so just comment it and localhost will return the ip address of the same machine and now we will print the ip address plus addi so now this is my uh, code this is uh, used to get the ip address of the machine now just execute the code right click run file now the code is running see as you can see here now as you can see here this is my host and the ip address of my host is 192.168.25.1 okay. this ip address is same you can uh, start with the cmd and ip config ip config just type ip config so see as you can see here the ip address of my machine 192.168.25.1 uh, the same ip address is oh, this good now this is my simple code right? this code is basically used to find out the ip address of the current machine as well as the remote machine so these are the two methods get by name and get localhost get localhost returns the ip address of the same machine and get by name will return the ip address of the remote machine i hope you understood this uh, part of the cloud computing practical thank you so much